Welcome to this insightful Excel tutorial where we delve into the nuanced world of breaking the y-axis in your charts. Effective data representation is crucial, and understanding how to break the y-axis can significantly enhance the clarity of your visualizations. In this session, we'll guide you through step-by-step -step methods to achieve this in Excel, empowering you to create more meaningful and accurate charts. For example, assuming that you have the data in a range, B2, B5, from 10 to 50 in another range, C2, C5, from 60 to 90. You have created a line chart based on the data in your worksheet. And now you want to break the y-axis in the existing chart. How to achieve it? Just do the following steps. Select the range of cells A1, C5 as the source data of the chart. Go to Insert tab, click 2D Line button under Charts group to create a line chart. Right-click Data Series at the bottom of the chart, select the Format Data Series from the drop-down menu list. Select the Secondary Axis Radio button in the Series Options section under Format Data Series pane. The current chart added one more Y-axis and it also called the Secondary Vertical Axis. Right-click on the secondary Y-axis and select the Format Axis from the drop-down list. Under the Format Axis pane, type the number 50 into the maximum box, and type left square bracket less than equals 35 right square bracket 03 semicolons into the Format Code text box in the Number section, and click Add button. Right-click on the primary Y-axis in the chart, and select the Format Axis from the drop-down list. Type left square bracket, greater than equals 60, right square bracket 0, 3 semicolons into the Format Code text box in the Number section, and click Add button. You will see that the chart Y-axis has been broken in your current chart. Breaking the Y-axis in Excel charts allows you to highlight the relevant details in your data while maintaining a clear visual representation. This technique is particularly useful when dealing with datasets that have significant variations or outliers. Experiment with these steps to customize your charts based on your specific requirements. Thank you for joining us on this journey to master the art of breaking the Y-axis in Excel charts. If you found this tutorial valuable, don't forget to subscribe for more insightful Excel tips. Your support is greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching.